President Biden is pledging full federal support for the state of Mississippi as he manages a series of foreign policy challenges as well, including a new threat from Vladimir Putin to move tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus, which shares a border with Ukraine. NBC's Ali Rafa is at the White House with more. Ali, good morning. Willie, good morning. That's right. President Putin saying Saturday construction of weapon storage facilities in Belarus could be done by July. This would mark the first time Russia would have nuclear weapons based outside its borders since the mid 1990s, something the U.S. itself does in several European countries. The White House reacting on Saturday saying they're monitoring the country which shares a border with three NATO countries and that there's no indication Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon, adding officials have not seen any reason to adjust U.S. nuclear posture. The announcement heightening tensions as questions about U.S. relations with Russia and ally Iran continue to intensify following multiple attacks by Iranian-backed militias against U.S. personnel in Syria on Thursday and Friday. The Pentagon stressing in a statement Saturday that U.S. and allied forces remain in Syria to, defe to defeat rather ISIS, echoing President Biden's earlier commitment to, quote, act forcefully to protect our people in the wake of these attacks, Willie. Ali Rafa at the White House. Ali, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.